Another key match in the APSA Premiership here this evening on what's been a busy day of football around the country. It's Orlando Pirates against Amazulu live from the Orlando Stadium. Welcome everyone, uh, continuing coverage on this very busy Saturday and uh, some sensational results already. We've seen Cape Town City knock Orlando Pirates uh, from, fourth, from third to fourth in the table. And Amazulu will start tonight in 11th place, looking to knock on the top eight door. Now in Thule. Morton. Gobeni waits in the middle. What is Morton going to do? Lays it on beautifully. That is superbly done by Amazulu. Breaking out from defence, they have taken the lead. Michael Morton waited that pass absolutely perfectly. Gobeni's run was superb. He started from almost the halfway line. He spotted the possibility. No chance for Sandy Lance. That is a beautiful pass. And a great finish as well. He didn't waste uh, a touch on it. He hit it first time, and that's the reaction. They love that. That's obviously something they've been working on in training because you could see the reaction from uh, Alan Clark and from Kevin Johnson. The chance for Pule. Across the face, the goal, Mahashi. Well, it hasn't taken them long to get back in the game. And Kuda Mahashi with an easy tap in at the back. It was Pule with a delightful ball across the face, the goal. Normally we say he's tender. Esna Nameto, being in the back hill, doesn't have eyes. But this one had clear specs for that matter. It is no clarity in the way that it found Pule. Shonga, lovely touch, Pule! That hits the stanchion at the back. For a moment, there would have been some who felt that hit the upright. Now the break, let's see what the Buccaneers can do. Launch to the right, Bimela plays the pass in. They're waiting in the middle, Shonga's there, Mahashi! Straight at Mbata, corner kick it will be. Not sure it was, might have been Mahashi. But uh, I think that's where the, he looks up, obviously, things about it. Maybe he thinks, because he looked up, the anticipation from everybody was that he's going to play it across, and he tries to steal it on the knee, but doesn't quite. Pule now, a little bit of trouble here. Oh, they missed out a chance there. Very clever thinking from Amazulu, and so close. And Thule unable to get that decisive touch onto it. There was the cross, then uh, Pule back to his goalkeeper, played in, and uh, Chawa Piwa looking to find Ntuli, but Ntuli uh, unable to get a touch to it. Sikakani's played this back, so uh, Amazulu will start the slow build-up. A little bit of a rest here for everyone concerned, although the ball given away here now, this could be dangerous. This is Pule, Shonga. Mamela waits square, surely he does it. And it all stemmed really from some errant play from Bongeni Gumedi. Gave the ball away, didn't really chase back either. Lodge, Mamela square. Lodge beats one defender, charts at the back, number three, Justin Shonga now, and they are carving them up. The wing play is exceptional. I mean, how many times has the player breaking wide has find himself with time and space to be able to ping that ball across the field of play? And uh, for me, clearly it must have been something that they're working on. Look at the reaction once the ball gets played wide. The number of players in the center of the midfield flies into the box. If one misses, there's another. That's brilliant. But uh, it's Amazulu's inability to string the right kind of passes. All these situations come from where the ball was won by Pirates. Turnovers. When, yes. Now he has Lorch. Chance to get it squared. Lorch, a lovely goal into the side netting. I'll tell you what, had that been in the back of that, we were looking at the goal of the season. Marvellous. This Timmy Corsi Lodge, he can play. Oh man, alive. That would have been sensational. 
the thing is uh, what he does very well Martin. he breaks to the left he can break to the right as well it means all the wide players overlapping he's always ready available to provide that support to receive a pass and all done at such incredible pace Mulenga with the superior strength gets the ball in here to Shonga to launch to Shonga again Yatama launch back to Yatama they're queuing up and they have scored Ben Mochwari will claim that it's a fabulous goal They will definitely now be second on the table, Orlando Pirates, at the end of tonight's play. Joining Mamalodi Sundowns on the same number of points. So Amazulu in their bid for a top eight place uh, receive a real setback here, but Orlando Pirates very much in the uh, title chase after this uh, comprehensive victory tonight at the Orlando Stadium. 3 1 up at half time, 4 1 is the final score. First of all, living under the philosophy, when it's bad, do not give up. When it's good, do not fly. Firmly on the ground, fully aware that in Saturday we have been on opposite side, on losing side, uh, on Wednesday. So the best medicine was this match. Uh, it was more a mental preparation because we believe that we have no problem of football. We have a mental problem that uh, uh, make us having set back on Wednesday. Today we answer very well from the start. However, uh, against the run of play, due to one turnover, we got punished. We didn't lose our head. We answer with the equalizing goal and two more quick goals that have, in a way, uh, set the tone. Second half, we decided and we told we shall not defend by defending because when you defend against the team that is attacking like opponent, uh, we want to defend by possessing. However, subconsciously, we have dropped back in a way, allowing opponent to come and still allowing some turnovers because when you lead 3 1, you are supposed to counter, not opponent to counter you and turnovers. Uh, so, uh, fourth goal put beyond, beyond, uh, game beyond uh, any doubts. We won this game. It is uh, a good injection of motivation, having in mind that since uh, Chipa we have not won, is an. Uh, boost of morale that we are looking to use in matches ahead of us. It's meaning one good step, uh, many more to come. Is this the type of reaction after Wednesday you expected from your players? As I told, it was more mental aspect than itself football. We have uh, come much closer to our players. We have seen that their faces are talking thousand stories. They are not happy. Uh, they are proud to carry this badge and jersey. Uh, they want to win. And as I said, we, we have come close to them. We have looked to take pressure away from them, giving them responsibility. They took responsibility. Also us, I need to give credit to the technical team that has worked tremendously united and together uh, to respond to the setback from Wednesday. And I believe uh, that this result was the best reward for uh, our investment in the last few days preparing the team for this game. Let's talk tactics, Coach Mitch. I'll tell you why. Because when they play the way they played here tonight, your players, is it perhaps the way that you forever looking for them to play? In terms of applying the tactics, I mean, I saw Mahashim where he started. I saw even when you made those changes, the way the, the ball then was moving into the space and also the movement up front of certain key players with pace, with effective speed. This is exactly, you know, practically sometimes it's very important to look yourself in the mirror. And from Wednesday, all of us, we have gone uh, to pray and ask the God, what's wrong we are doing to get the spiritual power? Uh, we, all of us, we have looked in the mirror in order uh, to see what is wrong with us individually, as a team and whatever. And uh, the most important was to unlock the legs of our players, giving them and freedom of expression, and that freedom of expression gave the performance, giving us result. Thoughts on the game, please. Did uh, Mitchell win the, the league? I had a very long interview. I think mine is just unlucky. Thank you, uh, MCV. No, 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 coach, where you want to go? <laughs> now, uh, I, uh, I, I think uh, if I look at the game and look at three mistakes, then uh, we gave them three goals. 
I think, uh, but in saying that, uh, we didn't play well as well. I thought when we got the first goal, nice goal against uh, the runner play, uh, we should have capitalized on that. We should have pressed them like we, we were supposed to have done in, the, in our training. And we didn't get that right tonight. So unlucky for the boys tonight. I think they need to, they need to do better next time out. And uh, yeah, 